peeps. Today I'm going to do a petal fling and bloom on a 10 inch round cradle board similar to this 8 inch round. If you're interested in seeing how I do that, well stay tuned. Please note all my colors will be located in the video description and I will be using these two tools. Let me go ahead and start with the white. In this next step, I'm going to petal fill this particular shovel shaped spatula. Look at the spatula. It looks really, really cute. I'm gonna do just one more that way. I'm gonna try to get something up there. Okay, I'm gonna put this in the bucket of water. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this off right here because I wanna go ahead and tilt it and then spin it. So that will be my next step, tilting and spinning. So I love the way the cells are showing up in here. I didn't add any silicone in this paint. I'll go ahead and just pour this down a little bit. Because I want, when I spin it, I want this to go this way. And before I do spin it, I'm going to take the torch to it. Now I'm just gonna spin this a little. Can you see how it's coming off this way because this is the way I tilted? All right, I'm gonna clean this up and do some skewer work. And then I'll go ahead and spin it and torch it one more time. So beautiful. I love this right here. So I'm going to take this part right here. I'm gonna bring it off. Now I'm gonna spin this off just a little bit and then I'm gonna torch it again. Okay, now that I have you out, let me go ahead and spin this a little. I'm gonna go ahead and torch this and then I'm gonna start doing some blooms on it.
And then I'm going to take a skewer I think the next bloom I'm going to do might be right there. That's an awful lot of paint right there. I'm going to use a trick. I'm going to take some of this paint off. I'm actually going to put a dab of white right there because that brown will show through the flower and I don't want it to. I love that. Oh, I love the colors are so earthy. And I'm thinking that's where I'm going to stop. I really do like the look of it. I'm going to torch it, clean it up, and then I'll bring you down for a close-up. Stay tuned for that. Okay, here are the wet results. Very earthy tones. I added a couple of little touches and I torched it. This is really cool looking. Bring you back out, and I'll bring you back for a quick look at the dried results. Here are the dried results.